Hey guys, welcome back to Learnity Guide Tutorials. In this video, I am going to talk about GitHub password authentication. If you try entering password for any Git CLI commands like clone, pull or push to perform some actions on your repository that is hosted on github.com, it won't work anymore because GitHub removed the password authentications. Instead, we have to use personal access token that should be generated on your github account so i will show you how to create these personal access tokens on github account related links are mentioned in the description below make use of it before getting to the topic just a small request to those who are watching this video from our youtube channel for the first time we have uploaded a lot of videos related to ansible docker kubernetes and other technologies too please have a look if you are interested in learning then do subscribe now and click near the bell icon for more interesting and useful videos. Let's get started. First, log into your GitHub account. At the right top corner, click on your profile and go to settings. Here you will find lot of options related to your profile, login, security and other options. Here just scroll down and click on developer settings. Then we could see few options like GitHub apps, auth apps and personal access token. Here just click on these personal access token. Just read this information if you want. And uh, this is the page where we could see the list of tokens available on this account. So let's create new one. Just click on this button generate new token. And this is the main form where we have to give information about this particular token like name for this token and validity of token expiration and what kind of access we have to give for this token. So let me put some meaningful name for this token. Then expiration. So expiration is nothing but a validity for the token, right? So if the validation is expired, this token cannot be used. So you can give some 7 days, 30 days, 60 days or even you can customize the date and even you can set like no expiration. So it is always recommended to have some expiration uh, from security perspective. So I just give no expiration for now since it is a demo. So no expiration means this token won't expire. Then finally scopes. On scopes we can customize the access like what kind of access we need to give for this token whether this token can pull the repository or push or clone or commit whatever okay so select as per your requirement just click on generate token that's all so we have got a new token and this is the token has to be stored in a secure place because you're never going to get this token again if you lost this token, it cannot be recovered. So we have to generate new token. So let's test this token whether it works or not. Just copy this token and enter it in the password prompt. Let me clone my remote repo again. So it is prompting me to enter the username and password. So here I am going to copy and paste my token. So I am able to clone my remote repository with personal access token instead of password. Let me add some files quickly to push some commit to remote repository. git add dot added a file. Let me commit it git commit done. Let me push it to remote repository, git push origin main. So it is again prompting for authentication. Again, I will give the newly generated token here at the password prompt. Perfect. So I'm able to push my changes to remote repository without any issue using the personal access token that we have generated now. Okay. Now single account can have multiple personal access token. Okay. You can have multiple access token to have a different expiration and different scopes. So let me create new token again. 
this time i will put seven days okay so in the name let me put seven days underscore token uh, on expiration i will select only seven days so this token will be valid only for seven days and select some scopes done now click on generate token so token is generated so now we have two tokens as of now so if you want to edit any of the existing token just click on it here there will be a warning again like if you have lost or forgotten this token you cannot you can only regenerate it and if you are using this token in any of your application or scripts that has to be updated with new token that is why they are giving this warning again and again so once you have created the token you would be able to modify only note and scopes you cannot modify your token value and expiration so keep it in mind so if you want to change expiration we have to generate new token with new expiration that's it hope you have got an idea about what is personal access token and how to create personal access token in github see you in the next video till then keep practicing and have fun how did you feel is it helpful appreciate our efforts in the comment section below hit like button share with your friends about us subscribe our channel to get further updates stay connected with us on social networking sites for more free tutorials visit our website www.lanetiguide.net